not everybody gets a chance, so I'm fortunate that I get to live amongst wild animals. When I really saw the wild animal in front of us, that's really hard to describe the, the excitement uh, by words. It was amazing. It was like my favorite thing that I've ever done. We started to see zebras and elephants, wildebeest, and springboks. We are researching anthrax transmission dynamics. It's a two and a half million dollar project from the National Science Foundation. It's comparing two ecosystems, one in Namibia and one in South Africa. In Southern Africa, I do mostly lab work. I extract DNA and I bring the DNA sample to the States and sequencing is done here. So I look at camera trap photos and how uh, the anthrax bacterium affects grazing patterns in different species. We're going out with a veterinarian, we're darting animals. Um, while they're immobilized, we're taking a bunch of samples. We are putting on the, the collars to be able to track them and then letting them go. In terms of UAlbany students, because the nature of my work is international, it's cool for students to come because they get to come and experience a totally different environment. I had never thought that I would get to be able to be a part of something like that. I have Wendy, all of my graduate students in the lab that have been helping me achieve my goals. So I'm just overall grateful for the experience. You know, as, as children, you, we have dreams like, I want to end up here, I want to go there. This was. This is like a blessing to me. The end game is discovery, and then hopefully that can be applied to public health or conservation or animal management in a, a larger scale. To study large mammals, especially in Africa, and to work in uh, this lab in Albany, I think it's a pretty rare and amazing opportunity.